2020 has indeed been a horrendous year so far as we all deal with the pandemic and whatever the new normal is going to be. This last week has been particularly stressful and challenging at the football club because of the um, investigation we've been doing into the player breach of social distancing guidelines and then dealing with the storm and the flooding in and around Aberdeen, which of course led to the, the tragic um, accident, the rail accident just outside Stonehaven. So first and foremost, uh, on behalf again of everyone at the football club, our thoughts and prayers are with the families and friends of those people who lost their lives in that accident. It really does put life into perspective. Moving back onto the football um, and into the um, investigation of the players uh, breaching social distancing guidelines. Uh, first of all, let me start by saying again that we apologise to the First Minister, Scottish football fans and authorities, the clubs and the Scottish public. To Don's fans, we've given you everything we can legally. I know some of you would have preferred us to have made this statement earlier, but we needed to take the time to do, do the diligence process justice. All employees has, have rights, as you, as you will know. And I feel that we have done it justice um, as a club. Moving on to the statement um, about the players that we made today. The players have been reprimanded and fined. They've been criticised, verbally abused and humiliated in public. A lesson, a harsh lesson that they've had to take on board. Regarding the disciplinary proceedings that the SFA and SPL, SPFL issued today, um, these proceedings with the SFA are against the players and the SPFL against the club. We will, of course, continue, as we have been doing, to be um, transparent and comply with the authorities. And as I've said before, Aberdeen Football Club will take whatever punishment it comes our way. However, there's a human element to all of this that I'm concerned about, which is the players' well-being. And I talked to Jason Leach about this concern earlier in the week. So let's go back to two weeks ago. First weekend of football, pubs opened. First weekend of football, um, you know, in months. Thousands of people in and around Aberdeen and other cities. Normally, these people would be at the game, 18, 20,000 people, but they're all out and about town across Scotland watching the games and staying out. Thousands of people ignored the rules, but our players should have known better. Never mind the pandemic, and as Derek has said, if you lose to Rangers, you don't go out on Aber in Aberdeen uh, on the evening or after that game. So, these players have been punished and humiliated, slaughtered by the First Minister, and now, tonight, headlines telling them that they face expulsion from the game. And last Monday, a journalist who has publicly professed to suffering from depression, looking to score points by assassinating these players in his column, and that from someone who should know better. What happened to the Scottish national concern about mental health, especially around young men? Are these football players excluded from that? It could have been players from any club and it still could be. For me, enough is enough. Let's end the personal abuse and humiliation. These players have owned this from day one and been punished. The players and the club will accept whatever punishment the SPFL and SFA throws at us. So my plea is this. Let's stop kicking these players while they're still on the ground. I'll end by once again unreservedly apologising to the First Minister, Scottish football fans, Scottish football authorities, clubs and the Scottish public. Let's get through this together. Thank you.